morning everyone I am so we're gonna take a look at some experiments this is something that you could do at home uh, I don't know if, how many of you will try it but I I hope you can try parts of it maybe you can do uh, do this in different sections and uh, what we're gonna look at is is kind of see what what's happening to the temperature of ice as it is heated up to boiling. So I have some ice in the freezer right now and, and what you need is you need a thermometer. Kitchen thermometer would work fine. I We're gonna use Celsius. So right now the, the room temperature is like 21 Celsius. And the if you have Fahrenheit, there are Fahrenheit to Celsius converters online you can use or you can use a formula, uh, you can look that up. But I'm gonna take the ice out of the freezer here as soon as we get back to school. I'm, you could do this at home. I'll, I'll tell you how you can do it at home, but the ice in the freezer, I'm not gonna, um, I just wanna measure it now because as soon as I get to school and put it onto the hot plate, I wanna get that going right away. So here we go, here is the ice out of the freezer. Let me get the ice. We're just gonna measure the temperature straight out of the freezer. So here we go. Get in here. Let's see what the temperature is. So we're going negative here. It's the, the freezer has to be, we should know something about water freezing point. And you can see that it does freeze at below zero Celsius. And the temperature of this ice to start is below zero. So there's a negative there, you can see that. Pretty cold. See where it levels off. Okay, so I guess we'll call it eight, negative 8.9 degrees Celsius. It's about where it's leveling off. I'm gonna take this to school now, and we'll complete the rest of the experiment. We're gonna put this on the hot plate. So zero times zero, negative 8.9 degrees Celsius. All right, welcome to our lab. And normally you would do this lab in here. You'd get to work with a team, someone would keep track of the temperature, someone would keep track of the timer, and someone would keep stirring, and you don't get to do that. So, um, unfortunately, yeah, me, but if you wanna try this at home, I, I you know, get a little, a little bit of ice, measure the temperature from the, the freezer, and then, and then I'll talk a little bit about how you would do this at home, okay? So try it if you can. I, you know, this class is, is lab dependent, and the more labs that you can do yourself, the more interesting this will be because if you just watch me, it's not very exciting. And so it gives you a chance to try some of the stuff out at home. Don't burn down your house. Don't make your folks angry if they don't want you to do this. But if you get a chance to do it, try it out, okay? So it'll make your life a little bit more interesting and a little, science a little bit more bearable. Um, so I'm going to take this, I just took it out of the, I had an ice chest, I had some ice things on it. Remember I took the temperature this morning, I'll put it back in here. So you need, a, you need some ice in your container, and then um, I'll talk about how you would do. And so I'm going to go ahead and take this in here, we're going to get this to, to the right temperature first. So remember it was at negative 8.9 to start. We're gonna get it as cold as possible uh, as soon as we get this thing 
to the lowest temperature that we are at. Okay, so it was a negative, remember it was a negative something. Um, and right now, it's not as cold because it wasn't in the freezer, I had to put in an ice chest. And what you're gonna do is, um, I mean it is negative, you can see. So I'm gonna start the timer, pretend at zero, at zero time, it was at, uh, at zero time, it was negative 8.9, and then, And then, as you're doing this, we're gonna keep track of time and temperature and see what's going on with the temperature as the time progresses. And this, it's on a hot plate, so you can see this is a hot plate. It's pretty dirty. It's got some stuff left on it. I had to scrub it off this morning so it wouldn't stink everywhere. But the, um, But you should have made a prediction, right? So you need to make a prediction about what the temperature was gonna do. Uh, if you're gonna try this at home, here's what I recommend. So if you get a small pot that you put on the on the stove and fill the pot up, you know, with, with about a third of ice. I know that it seems like a lot of ice, but maybe, but make sure you cover the whole bottom. Make sure you get enough in there. And so, you know, if, if you imagine that this is the whole pot, Get the smallest pot that you can find and then fill it up about a little less than halfway so that you cover the bottom and then you get some in there. I know it's going to be a lot more ice than what I have here. So maybe a whole ice cube tray or maybe even more. And then, and then um, get a thermometer, turn on the stove, turn to like medium, don't turn it on super, super hot because you don't want to burn yourself. You also don't want to you know, make sure this is not going. Um, but, but when you're stirring it, you're going to keep stirring it, okay? So if you're a thermometer, go ahead and, and you know, like put that in there, stir it. Um, if you have a Teflon pot, don't use metal to stir the Teflon. That's not good for the pot. But when you're stirring, you, you want to try not to touch the bottom. Okay, so you want to try not to touch the bottom, and and uh, just kind of make an observation. So I, I want you to kind of notice what's going on with the temperature. You can see it's it's uh, you know it's it's at whatever temperature now. I don't know how many of you predicted this, but. We have a very gradual change, not a whole lot of change. Point, it's not even one degree, right? So it's not a whole lot. The room temperature was 20 degrees. So, so um, yeah, be thinking about what's happening here. What is, why is this going on? A couple of notes about doing this at home. Don't burn yourself. And if you have a thermometer, if you have a corded thermometer, don't let the cord touch the, the stove. That'll melt. But well, if you want to do this really slow, you don't have to use stove. Just put a glass of ice and let it sit and, you know, or ice water and just keep stirring it. Let it sit there and, and see what the temperature is. So this is, so this is, so you can take a look, this is ice water right now. Okay, so this, the phases, I think it's important to know that the phases, this is ice and water. I have both ice and water. In the beginning it was all ice and then it started melting, ice and water. Hope you can see that okay. But it's still, we got some solid in there. So you can see the temperature. It's been going on for a couple minutes now. Is the temperature really moving? Not much. So, you know, 
what we're going to be thinking about is is energy. Like what's going on? What's the, what's the role of energy right now? What's happening? And keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Normally, I would have someone take over. You'd have someone in your in your group start stirring for you, so you don't have to stir the whole time. I don't have that. I gotta keep stirring. I'm trying to think of some jokes. I don't know if I have any jokes. All the good ones are gone. I don't know if you got that. Argon is an element on the periodic table. Argon, like the gas. So, that was a joke. Okay, you can see. So you can still a little bit of, little bit of uh, ice left. There's still a little bit of ice left. So it's still clinking around. And what do you see with the temperature? Pretty steady. Rock steady. No, oh, we're well. We cracked one degree here. All right, uh, the ice is still there, but it's well. Oh, it's back down and they back below one. But, so we're still just tracking along here. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. I'm gonna speed this up. Let me switch hands. My stirring. So imagine, if you will, 10 different groups stirring the water like this and clinking around. Um, so there's still a little bit of ice left, but not much. And you can notice that the temperature is, you know, it's changing a little bit. Okay, now, so, if you take a look here, I don't know if you can see that, but the ice is pretty much all gone, okay? And, or you can see the ice cubes are gone, just like the joke here that I said earlier. And, and what do you notice happening in the temperature? So the ice cubes are pretty much gone, and the temperature now... What do you see happening with the temperature? So you're jotting down. You can see the timer going. Hopefully the timer is going. I'm going to put in some editing so I can get a timer in here. I, I didn't have a, a little stopwatch uh, that I was going to put up here. But I was going to put the timer on. And keep stirring, stirring. And so I'm going to... At this point in the at home, if you if you got the medium temperature and you got all the ice melted, you can crank it up a little bit. Don't burn the house down. 
Don't leave the stove just unattended. If you have little siblings, don't let them touch hot handles or get too close to the stove. Okay, stove's getting a little, the hot plate's getting a little hot now. The stuff that's on the hot plate kind of smells a little bit. I think it was from the biology class or making auger solutions or something. So you can see the temperature going, hopefully. All water now, no ice. So totally ice. You can hear there's no clinking. If I stir it right in the middle, no clinking of the ice There's because there is no more ice. And what do you notice happening to the temperature? So that's kind of the big thing now is what's going on with the temperature? What is the energy doing now compared to what it was doing before? So temperature was kind of steady before and then but I had, I had the hot plate on, it was on a medium, it was like on a three or a four. And then and then uh, all of a sudden, as soon as all the ice is gone, we saw something happening. So it kind of like what's going on? What is happening with the energy now? Let's see what temperature are we at. Okay. So Stirring, I keep stirring. Stir a long time. And I might have to do some editing so this video is not super long. Cut out some of this in between stuff and give you the important data points. And you probably fast forward. So you might have missed my jokes. Like I have another joke, it's kind of morbid, but I'll tell it anyways. Uh, you know, like when chemists die, everybody dies. What do you do with dead chemists? Or the, when Mendeleev died, Mendeleev was one of the people that helped work on the periodic table. When Mendeleev died, what did they do with him? You bury him. Like the element barium. It's not totally appropriate to say a chemist, what do you do with chemists that die? Because there are female chemists too. And so you can't, there is no barrier in the periodic table. Table. So, ah, oh, my hand's getting hot. Woo! So the other hand. So you can see here the water still rising, still going up. Okay, and then at some point, but it's not. Nothing's boiling yet. We don't get any bubbles forming yet. So you can see there. No bubbles forming yet. What temperature does that happen at? I need an automatic stir, but the automatic stir that I have doesn't have a heating element in it, so I can't use that. Okay, so we're we're hitting. Are we at 90 yet? I can't see with the little thing here. 90, okay. So you can see, what do you see happening on the sides here now? You can start seeing some, I hope you can see that. I'll stand there. I, have a, I put a dark shirt on so you can see it a little easier. So you can see some, yeah, you see some like vapor forming up here, some steam. And if you look really carefully, it's starting to bubble a little bit. So we're, we're at that point where we're nearly hitting boiling. Okay, so now we're boiling. You can see it's bubbling. And we're going to keep tracking the temperature for a couple minutes here. So what do you notice happening with the temperature now? What is going on with the temperature? I did not do anything to this thermometer. 
I swear it's it is that's how it is I'm not doing anything because it's still the hot plate is still on it's on full blast you can see it's boiling and you can try this you know at home you don't believe me go to a get your pot of water put it on the stove heat it up while with a thermometer and then keep stirring it or just keep just check the temperature every now and then even and then once it's boiling um, put on a maybe put on a an oven mitt or something while you're holding that thermometer. Don't get burned by steam. Steam gets really hot. But you can see here what's going on with the temperature. Why is the temperature like this? I, I swear I'm not doing anything. That it's still boiling. Can you see it? It's still boiling? Right? Okay. It's still boiling and the te that's the temperature. I. It went up for a long time and now Pretty much, pretty much rock steady at this temperature. Okay. Why is that? 